Hi, I'm Steve Friedman with Rockstar Excel. Today I'm going to show you some of the exciting new functions that Microsoft just added to Excel to help you handle text. As of the time I'm making this video, the version of Office 365 that includes these new functions hasn't been rolled out to all users. To check if you have these new features, open a blank Excel document and in any random cell type equals text B. See if it auto-completes to text before, like you see here. If it does, you've got the new features. If not, stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll show you how to download the free update from Microsoft. Also in a bit, I'll be telling you about my Excel Made Easy class, where you can learn to become an Excel rock star in just four weeks without having to learn or do anything hard. The first new function that Excel added is called text before. This looks at a text string and returns the text that comes before a specific delimiter, such as a space or punctuation mark. For example, here is a list of first and last names. If we wanted to separate just the first names, in the past the best way to do that would have been to use text to columns or Power Query. If you wanted to use a formula, you'd have to hack together a complicated combination of several different functions. But now, text before makes it easy. Just type equals text before parentheses, then select the first cell with a name, comma, a space in quotes, and then close parentheses. Then double click the fill handle or this little green box in the corner, and you're done. That's it. Now you've got all the first names. That's even easier than text to columns or Power Query. Similar to text before is the text after feature. That returns the text that comes after your delimiter. So here we have a list of last name comma first name. We can just say equals text after parenthesis, then select the first cell comma quote comma space quote close parenthesis, and then double click to fill that down. Note that our delimiter here is actually two characters, a comma and a space. With these new text functions, your delimiters can be as many characters as you want. You can use entire words or sentences, which is another big improvement over text to columns. Before I talk about the third new function and some more applications of this, I want to take a moment to let you know about my upcoming Excel Made Easy class. The class is designed to take anyone, whether you're an Excel newbie or you've been using it for years, and teach you how to use Excel to save loads of time and become massively more productive. Unlike other classes, I don't overwhelm you with complicated, highly technical stuff. My course is designed to be extremely easy and accessible, so you can become a rock star at your company, level up your career, or save time and money for your business, all without having to learn anything hard. The class is four weekly sessions and includes lifetime access to videos broken down by topic for easy review. It also has an unconditional money-back satisfaction guarantee. If you find my videos helpful, this is the course for you. The next run of the course after the release of this video starts July 6th with a July 3rd registration deadline. If you're watching this in the future, check out rockstarexcel.com for schedule information. Getting back to the new text functions, Excel also added one called text split. This splits a text string based on where your delimiters are and breaks it up into multiple columns. So just say equals text split then select your original text, comma, quote, comma, space in the quotes, and then close parentheses. Note that because this is an array formula, you can't just double click on the fill handle to fill this down. You have to actually scroll down to the bottom and then shift click to highlight the column and then hit control D to fill it down or command D if you're using a Mac. Now, this doesn't have to be limited to two columns, and it doesn't even have to be the same amount of columns for each entry. For example, I have this list of highest grossing movies that I used in my video on implementing tags in Excel. If you want to learn about tags in Excel, check the link in the video description. If I say equals text split parenthesis, then select the first cell, 
then comma, quote, comma, space, close quote, close parenthesis, and then fill this down. You'll see the number of columns varies from three to five. But you should be aware that this can cause problems by putting data in the wrong column. For example, here, with our list of first and last names separated by space, let's see what happens when we use TextSplit on it. Let's just go ahead and get rid of the column that we made previously. And then we do equals text split, parenthesis, and then select this, comma, quote, space, quote, close parenthesis. And then we go ahead and fill this down. And if you look down here at the bottom, we see that for Mary Kate Jones, it lists Mary as her first name and Kate has her last name, with Jones pushed off to an unlabeled column. So that's something that you need to be wary of when using this. I want to show you one more really useful application of these functions. Sometimes when you import data or copy data from a website, you end up with a whole bunch of garbage muddying up your cells. In the past, this was a pain to clean up, especially if the junk data wasn't consistent, which would make it hard to use formulas or Power Query. But these new text formulas make it a lot easier. Here is a list of names followed by a bunch of random garbage text of varying length. But you'll notice the garbage text all starts with space brzp, so I can just do equals text before parenthesis then I select the first cell, comma, quote, space, brzp, quote, close parenthesis, and then fill this down, and I've eliminated all this junk text in just a few seconds. That was the overview of the exciting new text functions just added to Excel. If you don't have these yet in your version of Excel, I'll show you how to get them in just a second. If you do already have these functions, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and check out the Excel Made Easy class so I can help make you an Excel rock star. If you don't yet have these functions, here's how to get them. In the top of your Excel window, above the ribbon, click on File, and then click on Account. You then want to click on the button that says Office Insider, and then select Change Channel. Check these three boxes, and then on this drop-down, select Beta Channel, like I have now. Then click OK, and then go here to where it says Office Updates, and select that, and select Update Now. This will download the latest version of Office. After you download it, the installer will prompt you to close all your Office applications for a few seconds. Once you reopen Excel, you should have these new functions. Please like and subscribe, and check out rockstarexcel.com. Our Excel Made Easy class is coming up on July 6th and typically runs every other month. You can also sign up for our newsletter for tips on using Excel to make your life easier, submit questions for a future video, and book a free consultation to learn how we can save you time and money with training and done-for-you solutions. Thanks for watching and stay tuned so we can help make you an Excel rock star.